Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing F1 2017 on the GeForce TTX 750 Ti for FPS monitoring, I'll be using Cam. If you want to download this software, there's a link down in the description. And if you enjoy the content and want to support the channel directly, there's a link to the Patreon page down in the description as well. So Formula 1 2017, I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p. To skip one of those sections of the video, check the description below. So first I'll show you 1080p, trying to get 60 frames per second or something close to that target. And then I'll just crank up the settings, trying to stay over 30 frames per second. Then I'll do the same thing, just a 60 and 30 frames per second configuration for 900p and 720p. And also keep in mind that at 1080p I overclock the GTX 750 Ti, more details down in the description. You'll notice that the screen is cut in half, that's just because I'm testing the same stage using different weather conditions. I'm using clear and heavy rain modes, since those are the ones that they allow you to select on the benchmark tool. I'm using a benchmark tool that is pretty much like actual gameplay, but it drives much better than me, so, so doing direct comparisons is much more accurate. It won't be a perfect match on both halves, since when it's raining the cars usually go slower, but it's just to have an idea on how it compares with different weather conditions. The options that gave me the best performance boost after lowering them were shadows, those can be a big hit to the frame rate, especially going over the high setting option. Then vehicle reflections also give a big hit to the frame rate, so I recommend keeping that on high or lower than that. Then I'm in occlusion and SSRT shadows usually help out as well to lower them if you want better frame rates. But you can also select on the end the LSN options TAA or TAA checkerboarding. The one with checkerboarding will give you higher frame rates, so I recommend trying it out since some people cannot notice a difference. It's actually using a lower resolution, but using some smart upscaling techniques, it can help out to hide the fact that it's a lower resolution, so you can have higher frame rates. And then the other options that weren't mentioned by me just a second ago, it usually helps to lower them in groups to notice a bigger performance difference. And for textures, I suggest to use medium quality if you have a card with 2GB of VRAM. And if you have a 4GB of VRAM card or higher, just use the highest texture quality option, it works just fine. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time!
Thank <laughs> you. 